but giving them the ability to kill their baby and regret that for the rest of their life is not the right way to help them. And ultimately, the least compassionate thing to do would be to make her a murderer on top of all the underlying issues she's already dealing with. That's just going to compound the problem, not make it better. Hey fellow tacticians, be sure to like this video and subscribe and ring that little notification bell. That supports this channel's conservative content which is good for me, good for you, good for America, but really bad for the dark cyber overlords at YouTube. So let's look at the final argument. This one's not going to take very long. Argument number 12. How can you tell that a woman in crisis, uh, how is it the way that they would phrase it? How can you tell a woman in crisis what she can and can't do with her body? Now, again, they're trying to play to your sympathy, which is not a bad thing. You know, sometimes our sympathies can, can inform us of this kind of thing. This argument ultimately is an appeal to compassion, and I don't necessarily want to attribute ill will to the person that's making it because they do feel for the mom. My question would only be, why does that same compassion, again, not spill over to the baby? Why are you not considering the baby in this equation? Why are you saying, well, you, how can you tell a woman in crisis? Well, if the baby's life is in trouble, I'd say the baby's in crisis too. And so you don't want to take a vulnerable person, whether they're a minor or whether they are somebody that is in a vulnerable position, a life position, they may have financial instability, they may suffer from not being able to, to find food or shelter or clothing or all those things. Yes, we do need to help people like that. But the solution to that is not killing the baby growing inside of her. You'd have to make the case for why that is going to be a net good and why there is no compassion extended towards the baby in that situation. The truth is people that are in distress are rarely equipped to make good decisions. I mean, that's, that's just the truth of it. And it, that's a sad reality of life because being in distress is actually the time that you would most want to be able to make good decisions. But if you're in some kind of emotional distress or you're having some kind of psychological problem, usually that's the time where you're least qualified to make good decisions and to be able to, you know, if we were to find somebody that's suffering a psychological breakdown and say, you know what, here's a gun. Since you're having the psychological breakdown, we'll make it legal for you to kill somebody until your psychological breakdown ends. Well, that would be a very stupid thing to do. And that's exactly the problem with making this argument when it comes to abortion. I agree that there's women that are, are really in pain and hurting, and that goes back to the very beginning of the show where we talked about all the different charities and programs that Christians, evangelicals, and political conservatives have put millions and millions of dollars in for years now trying to help women in exactly those scenarios, but allowing her to make more bad decisions and, and giving her the means to commit horrible, atrocious crimes against humanity is not the right way to help her. It's the exact opposite. And so that's why I don't understand this argument that the best thing for a woman in crisis is to give her the ability to make a very, very bad decision. You should actually be trying to protect her and try to get her back to a much more desirable mental state instead of giving her the tools to make really horrible decisions. I mean, I imagine that if there was somebody that was a drug addict, you wouldn't go, you know, I really feel bad for you. Here, friend, take some heroin. Oh, that, that's not helping them. That's actually making the problem worse. Or even if they were a drug addict and you didn't hand them drugs directly, they're like, you know what? Here's a thousand dollars. Go, go nuts. Go spend it however you want to. What, what's that person going to do? They're going to go buy drugs. And so that's not the way to help them. We can have compassion for someone and be a little bit more cautious and a little bit more thoughtful about what is actually the correct method to help them out. Could a, could a person that's addicted to drugs use money? Yeah, probably. They're probably hungry. They probably need a good shower. They probably need a place to stay. Those are all things that, quote unquote, money could solve. But just handing them money is not a smart idea because they won't spend it on those things, they'll spend it on drugs. And so you have to be a little bit more intentional and you have to be a little bit more clever in how you're going to help that person. And for women in this situation, exactly the same rule applies. I agree that they need help. I want to help people in that situation. I have personally helped people in that situation actually, both you know personally for me and also through other charities that help women in those scenarios. But giving them 
the ability to kill their baby and regret that for the rest of their life is not the right way to help them. And ultimately, the least compassionate thing to do would be to make her a murderer on top of all the underlying issues she's already dealing with. That's just going to compound the problem, not make it better. So I appreciate that people that are trying to make this argument in good faith and really are just trying to figure out what the right thing to do is. I genuinely want to believe that a lot of those people are sincere in wanting to help them, but they're going about it the wrong way. And so we have to be very careful and very deliberate in how we help people that are in crisis. To convince you to like this video and subscribe to my channel, I'm about to do some political impersonations. First up, Bernie Sanders. It is immoral that in this country, the top 1% of YouTubers get all the likes and subscriptions. John Kerry. Please remember to ring the notification bell. President Joe Biden. If you like the show, call the TV Guide and tell them. You know, the thing. Kamala Harris. Batman would want you to like and subscribe. <laughs>